actually give up. All these plans, we've got arrested. No, I got a new plan. I'm gonna go into the next plane that arrives, and I'm gonna hijack it. So, and so we can make all... Right. And there's no way the cops can get us. The heart doctor said, yeah, and crash into the, the bank. No. And then there's no way for the cops to get us. <laughs> hey, y'all are supposed to go through... That was the ID check stand. Hmm. Oh. Joe Biden, I wonder if people had a heart attack. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That probably was a night. That probably was a ghost. Better not. Then. Sorry guys, my plane sometimes breaks. Sorry. Alrighty. Alright, everyone, pass your IDs out.
issued a statement saying the subpoena changes nothing and is a waste of time and taxpayer dollars. President Trump Friday continued to slam former Vice President Biden. What I want to do... Woo! This bank is a long ways from the police station. And no one themselves on the defensive. The Washington Post filmed this constituent confronting Iowa's Senator mm -hmm. Julie Ernst over her refusal to criticize President Trump. I can't speak for him. I'll just say I can't speak for him. Mm -hmm. You can't speak for him. You can speak for yourself. Uh, this morning, the New York mm -hmm. Times reports that there may be a second possible whistleblower, mm -hmm. an intelligence official who's already been interviewed mm -hmm. by the Inspector General. According to the Times, this person has more direct knowledge of Trump's dealings with Ukraine and is now weighing whether to file a complaint of their own. All right, David, thank you. On Capitol Hill, the Intelligence Committee. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and make a like. Bye.